Okay, so we have this article here. It's called Hip Hop Woman Shredding the Veil. So many memes. Race and Class and Popular Feminist Identity. Wait, can we talk about that? The title? Yeah. The Veil. We yeah. should talk about the title. Um, the title what do you think of it? Um, what came to your mind at first? Uh, well, the first thing in my mind was there's there's another class that was uh, that I'm taking called just about movies and how movies kind of set up a screen for racism and all kinds of other stuff. And it's called screen savers. So when I think screen, I think real covering some of this. Uh, okay, these like women are shredding it. Yeah, okay. these women are shredding it. So. Okay. So it's kind of. Um, Violet. Violet. To shred the veil rather than just unveil it. Yeah, yeah, but also shredding the veil is like it might it's, 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 it leaves some holes in it. You know, so it's, yeah. not, it's not you're not taking this thing with the whole thing down, but it's supposed to holes in it. But I was thinking about two different things. I was thinking the veil like a wedding veil, mm-hmm. and you know, kind of like that. That's like a generations old painting of like you finally reveal yourself, yeah. and it's now like women don't have to live behind their, a man, and they can just rather than take off the veil, they're shredding it. Yeah. Because they want to come as a movement, and but also I was thinking about um, women who are Muslim. Because he was talking about the Muslim and in- black Muslim influence on hip hop and stuff, and then that just kind of connected to my mind. And I know he mentioned her in it, but uh, Marshall and uh, Morgan mm-hmm. also started the hip hop archive, archive at Harvard. At Harvard. Okay. So, um, but. but yeah, what she said about shredding the veil, like, as far as marriage goes, I think that that was the same thing. Just playing to, like, yeah, like, our fantasy ideas about marriage, or, like, whatever, you know, like, when we're thinking about marriage, it didn't really happen. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's not that they, you know, just necessarily don't want to get married, but maybe they need to be supposing shit. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, because what, what was really there, what was really, like, you know, being married was not, like, really... But it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Such as that poem we read in class. Oh, definitely. That was yeah. That poem is about. It was about a woman, she just married her husband, and he beats her, he's terrible to her. She's writing a letter to a friend, and at first, like, when you just read the letter straight through, it just seems like she's being overly, like, nice, and overly, like, enthused about this marriage to this guy that she was arranged to. And then when you read it, when you omit every other line, you read how, like, much misery she's in. Did it say she said she'll kill him at the end? Um, or maybe I she said something about him, yeah. Yeah. But- I think this but, is a letter to one of her friends, right? Yeah. And so we talked about a class. This is um, like the 1800s, yeah, 19, so, early 1900s. So we talked about uh, Dr. Thomas' class that this veil, uh, or this, this this kind of message that she sent to her friend, her friend knows how to decode that. Mm-hmm. You know, her friend can get through in there, but you know, like the husband who might who's checking the mail, right? Yeah. The husband's checking yeah. the mail. That's why she had to do it that so way. much. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't can't can't really see past that. Right? Yeah. That's why they gotta shred the veil, especially in hip hop, which is a man's world. Speaking of, just last night or yesterday, I was like browsing TV. I was watching this show on VH1 called Gossip Girls or something, and it's about like all the ladies in hip hop journalism. And it was one woman. She was talking with her husband, and they're both like hip hop journalists. And he was telling her how it's, it's still a man's game. Like at the end of the day, no matter what you say, your opinion only matters so much because you're a woman. Oh, and that's in 2013. So that was, that was yesterday. Yeah. That so why is a man still saying that when you see all these powerful women in hip hop? That, that's real. Like, that's real. I think that's, that goes back to like some of those sexualized content that we're talking about in um in Marshall's article here mm-hmm. because she, she mentions that uh, a racialized context is one that also regulated the public attitude and behavior of blacks. So you think about not only are these you know, black people rapping, but it's also black women. So there's also a racial and sexualized context that they have to get through both of them. So maybe there's not even one thing. They're going to choose multiple. Multiple males that we don't need, we haven't even uncovered yet. Yeah, we haven't. So, so um, that's just one. That's just, that's really just one. 